Cheers, everybody. Welcome to another wonderful episode of Bourbon and Booze. It's Wednesday. It's coffee time. And this is one of my favorite times of the week. I think my two favorite times of the week, Wednesdays for coffee time and Fridays for cocktail time. I do love Tuesdays and Thursday whiskey time. And I even love Mondays, which is the non-whiskey time. But I really am quite addictive to coffee. So our coffee time is really a special uh, moment for me to really enjoy um, a relaxing time during the middle of the week. It's probably why I picked it for Wednesday. It's that hump day, so to speak. So if you like what we do and you like the coffees we bring you, make sure you hit that like and subscribe and also check out all of our other videos Monday through Friday. Like I say, we do some really great things. Uh, Tuesday, Thursdays, and Mondays, I'm here with my partner in crime, Andy, and on Friday I'm with Cody, but on Wednesday it's all me, and so let's get right down to this. We are going to be looking at a very unique and very special coffee that you can only get, as far as I know, one place in the world. You might be able to order it online, but I'm pretty sure you can only get it at this location, and this is in Lynchburg, Tennessee. If you uh, happen to be in Tennessee and going to the Jack Daniels Distillery in downtown Lynchburg, not more than a stone throw from the distillery, literally walking distance, is a really cool town square. A lot of really um, interesting architectural buildings from back in the, uh, the day, back when Jack Daniels was at his height in the 1880s, 1890s, and um, courthouse, all sorts of cool things. So we're talking about Jackie's, uh, Jackie's Gift Gallery, which is located in um, a building that I believe used to be the bank that um, was established in part by Jack Daniels, but mostly by, I believe it's his nephew who inherited uh, the distillery or nephew's brother that inherited. Anyway, Jack Daniels had a big part in playing it in this um, this bank and then the bank uh, owner manager ended up inheriting Jack Daniels distillery I hope my history is right and ran it for ever in fact I think the family ran it they may still be running Jack Daniels distillery uh, the, the nephew family of Jack Daniels of course Jack Daniels never had any kids of his own uh, but in this building is the official Jack Daniels store uh, it's not at the distillery, so you can buy all these really cool apparel and outfits and cool stuff. And then you can also uh, buy a bunch of uh, barrels and barrel wood uh, furniture. And there's a little gift store called Jackie's, uh, Jackie's Gift, and she has this Jack's Whiskey Brew. It's a whole bean, 100% Arabica, uh, Jack Daniels flavored whiskey. It is $13.99, so $14 for this 12 ounce uh, package. Uh, it's beans, we bought the beans, so I ground it, um, it's a dark roast. I ground it to a medium fine for a drip pot. As you can see, it's a nice dark coffee color and it smells absolutely wonderful. I've had a lot of bourbon and whiskey related coffees and this one really is very unique. This is very pleasant, very uh, flavorful smelling. It's got lots of uh, good aromas to it. Um, some vanilla, some molasses, a little bit of whiskiness, um, some florals that I'm not quite being able to identify. Uh, it's just really rich and, and aromatic. It's great. I loved it when I opened the package and when I brewed and could smell that coffee going. I haven't tasted it yet. This is my very first taste of it. It's very smooth. It's almost got a hazelnut um, feel to it. Very smooth, no bitterness, no acidic uh, texture to it. It's not very oily on top. It is probably a great coffee for breakfast or late evenings. 
slight hints of sweetness, but not really on the tongue. Overall, it's a really, really good coffee. Uh, I'm glad I got it. I wish I could get it uh, more of it. I might have to check online and see. Uh, but as far as whiskey or bourbon or scotch infused uh, coffees, and we've tried quite a few, you can check that in our playlist for coffees. Uh, we've, we've tried quite a few. This is probably the best. I really enjoy it. So tell me what you think if you've had a Jackie's, uh, Jackie's Whiskey Brew. Now don't be confused with the Jack Daniels blend that you can buy in the store. It's very interesting. Lots of um, bitterness and acidic to it. It's a very strong coffee. Uh, it's not really one of my recommended ones, but you can try it <clears throat> and see. I mean, I have a can and I use it every once in a while, but you can um, give it a run through, but this is way better. So tell me what you think. And as always, you can leave comments in the um, comment section about any future coffees you want us to do or any brew flavored or whiskey flavored uh, coffee brews that you had. Uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and merchandise and all of our other videos Monday through Friday. And we hope you have a great Wednesday. Cheers.